historically, Wapato Creek flowed through the tide flats out to Commencement Bay. In the mid-1960s, Wapato Creek was diverted and ditched along 12th Street and Alexander Avenue, and the area was filled. And this project's designed to restore the creek channel to kind of the historic location, meander it through the site, um, and create approximately 20 acres of wetland, uh, estuary, mud flat, and fish habitat. One of the things that ports are able to do, which is critical, is to purchase property and bring it back to its natural habitat. And this is a perfect example of working with the Puyallup tribe, one of our partners, in moving forward in this in endeavor. We've done this before in the past with the places circling waters along Marine View Drive. It gives the community a, a place to be proud of that we're bringing back natural habitat in the way it was designed to be. So we're excavating out about 180,000 cubic yards of material. Um, most of that material will be stockpiled on the northern portion of the site for use by wa uh, WashDOT during the 167 extension project. Uh, the other material is being used to fill the existing ditched portion of the creek and to create some of the habitat structures. We're scheduled to be completed by mid-February. Most of the earthwork will be completed here before the end of September. The design tries to maintain as many mature existing trees here as possible, and then we'll be planting native grasses, shrubs, and trees to create about 10 acres of wetland habitat and str uh, stream habitat for fish, and then also about eight and a half acres of forested uh, upland buffer habitat. The port is uh, also generating advanced mitigation credits by creating this restoration site. And the port will be able to use those mitigation credits to mitigate for unavoidable impacts to wetlands in the future from port projects. We're doing this in a very urban area. You can hear the cars moving in the background. We're right adjacent to State Road 509, and yet it's close enough to other habitat sites that it creates the continuity that's required for the for the, the animals. We blocked off the creek. We had biologists come in and look for fish and remove any fish that we found. And they found hundreds of uh, fish, some coho, and surprisingly some shrimp and uh, flounder. So that was pretty interesting that fish are already here and we're creating a better home for them. One of the things that is really hard to put a finger on is when you invest monies, what kind of return you get. Well, what we're gonna get with this with regards to natural habitat, there is no price for that. Uh, we're paying, we're spending $17 million on that, uh, but it will be here for generations to come. They'll be able to look at that and say, this is how it should have been and was at one time. And because of the port, the Puyallup tribe, and the community outreach to us, we're able to do that.